today we're over here on the side of uh, Central Station. The side's called Booster Dock. We're gonna go down this way. I've been over here in a while, a couple weeks, so we're gonna see anything going on over here. Just uh, take a little ride by the boats. Oh, it's green light. <laughs> windy so yeah but look at that sunshine just got playing with the birds eating the birds Saturday today, so today is uh, the start of when they have the curfew. Curfew starts at 9 p.m. So curious to see what's gonna happen. Will the streets be empty? Ah, we'll have to see. It's still pretty early right now. The sun goes down around like 4.45, 4.30-ish. I think it's dark around 5. this uh, felt carpet type thing on here. You can hear it's kind of wet. Do you hear it? Just to reduce noise, I guess, from the wood planks. Cool bridge. Here, the sun. Oh, the cool little view right here, right? The sun feels so nice. these big boats these boats I think are chartered for like parties and adventures Let alone the streets, it's kind of weird to see the canal so empty. Not I mean not that these boats go into the canal, but just like just boats in general are just not in the canals. I mean they're not canals are pretty empty lately. But yeah, there's all these boats along here. Just 
chilling over here. <laughs> Yeah, this is a really nice view. Let's just stop here for a second. There's a big sea palace we passed earlier. So we just kind of went around in a circle. And all these boats are docked over here. We're gonna turn around though, because we don't want to go out to the big street over there. Not just quite yet. back of the museum and check it out and the other side where all the big boats are. Let's take a ride. fishing video <laughs> of this a few weeks ago um, if you didn't see that you guys can go check it out I think it was about a month ago I made that video or more <laughs> yeah this is like where the old boats and barges they all kind of park over here they look so historic they look so cool They're shooting water out from the boat over there. Let's stop and take a look at that. You can see it or not, but that big boat over there, they're shooting water out of it. I've never seen that before. And I showed that in my last video, there's like a little crate up there <laughs> hanging off of this boat. It was a little pirate's booty treasure. <laughs> oh yeah, that boat is shooting something out over there. It's a water, I guess. turn around but um, that goes back out to the main street up here and there's a big ramp I guess people can dock their boats over here there's a boat dock over here 
boats. So if you ever wondered where people dock their boats at in Amsterdam, it's like right over here. <laughs> so they would drive down this street right here from the main street. And then they would just drive their boat over to this area right here. And we were just right next to it. Uh, there's a boat ramp that goes down. I don't know if it's private, but... I would guess if you had a boat, I would come here and launch it, I guess. Okay, so we go right here. There's a little boat ramp, boat launch. Right here, so... I think they would launch their boat, I guess. There's so many boats in the canal, I think. Some of them are abandoned, even. <laughs> this guy's working out over here. These stairs go up to the, like, viewing deck up there. The Nemo Museum, but it's closed. Yeah, these boats are really cool, right? They have like these big wings on the side. I think someone said they're made to prevent them from tipping over or like something like helps them like balance a bit more because they're like not like, I don't know, something like that. Big old sails they have. The Britannia. Oh, cute little boat. The Anna Sophia. <laughs> boat names are so fancy. I took a video over that of that <clears throat> Mediamatic place over there too. You guys should check that out. I'll link it in the description below. The fishing video that I made a few weeks ago and also I made that video, I think not long ago. I think last week I posted that, but it shows the glass houses um, that they did like social distancing dining. So the greenhouses <laughs> for like two to four people. Yeah, I'll put that in the description. If you guys didn't see that video, you should check it out. Yeah, but I usually say this at the end of the video, but you guys should definitely smash that like button for me. Give me a subscribe, because it really helps me out. Leave a comment. That way it pushes it out to other people. You know, the algorithms are all kind of crazy, but. <laughs> yeah, so this is our little ride around Oosterdok. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We're heading back out, but look at the clouds they look crazy coming over there they're like gray and funky looking so I'll head out this way head back over to Easter Dock don't know if it'll be windy or not so we'll figure it out when we get going Of the wind works. The wind. The wind. <laughs> Knock you into the water. Say, so, can you swim, bitch? <laughs> yeah. 
I'm gonna go through that wet carpet again. <laughs> it sounds so like yucky and moist. Here we go, listen. I don't know if the wind is making it worse. I can hear it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we're back on the brick now. Brick pavers. The sun is out, but it keeps getting covered by the clouds, so it's pretty cold. This bike. <laughs> what, media market is open? No. Probably just for their returns or maybe like picking up orders. I don't know what it is. Yeah, look at this big floating Chinese restaurant, Sweet Palace. Yeah, that was our little trip around the Easter Dock area. I hope you guys enjoyed that little trip. Um, remember to smash that like, comment, and <laughs> yeah, smash it. And of course, subscribe because that really helps me spread the, um, the video, like I said. So, all right, thanks for watching, you guys. Catch you guys next time. Bye.